How are Hi, you? Hi, there you are. Hi. Good, how are you? Not too bad. So, uh, you have a spare diamond pickaxe? Yes, I have a spare efficiency 4, fortune 3, unbreaking 3 pickaxe. Okay, so I don't have much, but I do happen to have a little <laughs> bit of a offer for you if you would like to take it. I would like to now, have a look. Um, <laughs> now, the first thing, I don't know if you need copper... But I think that's like 83 copper if you need it. Uh-huh. I also have a, I think it's officially <gasps> called I'll a take teal it. Deal. axolotl. Deal, I'll you take that? it. I was going to throw in a couple other things, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's like a white axolotl. So it's like the, it's not the most rare, but it's like the second most rare Ooh. one. What's the, um, yeah. what, what's the most rare one? The blue one. The blue one, right. I, well, the white one's pretty good. Or the teal, whatever it is. I like so it. Fun, fun. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Here's your pickaxe. Well, thank you. It has um, a couple durability off it, but it, it's basically as good as new. You know, I am fine with whatever. I <laughs> only have, like, one diamond, so this is very good. Thank you. I think that was a pretty good trade with PB. Um, I did manage to get a very rare axolotl out of it, and I would have just taken the axolotl if she put that in the... Uh, barrel first. I would have just accepted that and then ran. So we also got some copper out of that. Not too bad. But um, I want to have a little look at our friend here. Let's have a look. Oh, look at him. He's so chunky. And he, he can survive out of water. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't actually seen any axolotls yet. Oh, hell yeah. So <laughs> uh, he's going to be my new best friend. The cutest predator. Catch an axolotl in a bucket. Wonderful. So, yeah, um, I have to come up with a name for him, and I, I guess we're going to put him in our base. All right, so there's also an ocean monument right by the mountain here, and I'm going to go over there and try and uh, take care of business. And a good way to go through ocean monuments is with um, doors, because if you place a door underwater, I believe you can maybe you can stand in it like that. So, uh, hopefully I won't drown. <laughs> but it's just on over this way. I'm not sure of the best way to get in. I have gone through only one ocean monument before, and that was a very long time ago. But yeah, I hope this goes well. I wonder how much damage these guys do. I think we just have to kind of go for it. Okay, well, that was a bit painful. <laughs> um, how do we get in? Yeah, now we have that effect. How do I, um... Break blocks. I feel like this is an issue that I hadn't quite considered. There's nothing in this room. Let's check up here. Oh. Oh. I found the guy. This is the guy. I don't know if I've ever really killed one before. I know that he does a lot of damage. Okay, I killed it. What do I get? What's my prize? A sponge and an Elder Guardian head. Alright, so I think that means we won't get mining fatigue anymore. So after the four minutes is up, I think we should be good. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I don't know I don't know any way to get through here without dying. Uh, I might have to come back with some other people and figure that out. I, I don't even really know how to go through an ocean temple or like because the um the elder guardian spawned back again right away so i'm not a hundred percent sure what to do about that i don't even know how to get out of here huh okay i found the way out okay that wasn't too bad wow i don't even know how you're meant to do that what a nightmare honestly that was a terrible idea trying to go through the ocean monument i've never gone through one before and i didn't realize that there were actually three elder guardians uh, so we're gonna go through that again Probably in a day or two with somebody else on the server just to kind of give us a little bit of help But until then we can actually start working on our little mini base now So in these chests I have all these dyes. So we've got red. We've got yellow. We've got light blue orange We've got white and we got lime and we also have a bunch of black wool and a bunch of terracotta that we're also going to dye and my plan is pretty simple, because on the last 
season of Mytopia, I think I was too ambitious and I tried to build things that were just way too detailed and I kind of got discouraged from building because it was just such an overwhelming thing to try and do. So I'm going to keep it simple, but we are going to build things quite large. So what I want to do is <laughs> sticking out of the side of this uh, mountain here, I want to build a massive like Rubik's cube. So it's going to be like half in, half out, coming out around about here. And it's going to be, well, actually, I'll lay down some dimensions so you guys can kind of uh, get, an, get an idea for how big this is going to be. It's not going to be massive, but it's going to be pretty big. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be four, five, like that long, but it's going to be a massive cube. So I think it will look quite nice sticking out of the mountain over there. If I can make it fit, I don't know. We might be a bit pressed for room up there, but I'll try and make it work. I'm not entirely sure if replay mod works in 1.17.1, but I'll give it a go, I think. All right, so now we have our big old Rubik's Cube over here, and it is a, it's quite large. It's pretty big. I mean, um, it'll, it'll definitely have enough room to put chests and storage and stuff in. Uh, there is currently no door, however, so I just ha kind of have to bust in through here. There we go. And I'm planning on putting stained glass over these kind of indent pieces, so it's kind of flush with the wall. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe on the floor I will, just because um, walking around down there and jumping over those blocks is really not ideal. But yeah, there's our cube. Very wonderful. So now the plan is to kind of build a little path going up, because I am sick and tired of these little spruce stairs over here, and they, they kind of just look ugly. So with the cobblestone here, I've kind of laid out where I want a path to go. So uh, it'll be starting from this way and then kind of heading up here. And uh, there might be some like ladders here or something going up to this next section, kind of walking across, maybe like a little balcony or something over here. Oh, hey, Kanaz. And then, yeah, swooping back up this way to the main kind of area up here. And I'm probably going to have to put a door to get into here probably around this area or I could put like a little platform coming out just over here maybe some stairs going down from this upper area kind of down to that middle green square there so yeah that that should um look quite good I think it'll make the area look a lot nicer and I'm planning on leaving uh, some stone areas and kind of making like some little cliff type things uh, yeah I'm gonna go collect some resources and then I'll get to building
Well, there we have it, guys. I finally finished it, and this video has taken me over two weeks, I'd say, to actually record and finish. I've just been coming on every now and then for maybe an hour or two at a time, you know, working on the cube or working on this path here, and then, you know, recording bits and pieces, but it is finally done, and it just took a very, very, very long time. But yeah, hopefully I'll be a bit more active on the server in the coming days and weeks and months. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with how this path turned out, actually. It, um, I had to change the mountainside drastically and basically create half of a mountain by myself. So that was pretty cool. And uh, I'll just quickly take you all through it. So I guess we'll go this way, why not? So you come around the corner here. I moved the portal from down here over to there. And I also added doors going diagonally down the cube. I don't know if I'll keep them doors because it kind of looks a bit weird, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, there's like this little overhang over here with leaves and then the path continues down this way and I decided to put in a ladder just to break it up a little bit. And you know, we've got some leaves, we've got some little, little lanterns on top of logs here as well. And we have this very nice looking lookout. You get to see over all the ocean, the sheep farm, the path over there that leads to PB's base. Also, with the spyglass you can zoom and then with Optifine, you can zoom again, so you get like a double zoom action in there, which is pretty nifty. Anyway, so you walk on down this way, um, just down this kind of winding path, and then we get to the bottom. So, I mean, honestly, it probably shouldn't have taken me that long to build, but it did, so not much we can do about that now. But I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I think it looks quite nice. I might go around and just change a couple things if I... If I look at it again and think it look, think it looks a bit crowded. But yeah, overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. Also, if you go down the left-hand side of the cube here, I made this little path just past this little tree over here that leads down to the Timmy Lookout, where you get to kind of just sit and enjoy the beautiful scenery. And I named it after my partner. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, whoever leaves a comment on the video, I'll pick some random person and I will name an area of my base after them. So I want to name um, this little balcony over here after somebody. I want to name this trail that leads up the mountain after somebody. I might want to name the cube, maybe the cow farm, maybe the sheep farm, maybe the cactus farm. So yeah, leave a comment and I'll pick like one or two people and I'll name something after you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hopefully the next one won't take a month for me to release. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking around, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.